Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about WWE TV this week. Yes. Kind of. The lowest rated Raw in history. Again? Again. Wow, they keep yes. on lowering the, the bar. bar. Um, but So what episode are we on? 14? I, oh yeah, that's 15? right. I didn't say. It might be 14, it might be 15. It doesn't knows. really matter. Um. Anyway, so uh, we, I, since you brought that up, I might as well uh, reference it again. The fact of the matter is it really doesn't make a difference how many people actually watch Raw. Like, in in terms of getting a gauge of the popularity of the oh, WWE. Yeah. Because there's so many outlets. Like, I'm on their YouTube page right now. They have, if it'll load, 33 million subscribers. They do. So, with between all the watch, uh, 150 thousand views on their top 10 smackdown live moments so you could just compile all that and then all the hulu watches yeah well that's that's a big thing too so obviously it's not that people aren't watching it's just there's so many more ways to date or ingest right i mean it's also nielsen ratings it's only people with boxes mm-hmm. like yeah it, the whole system is weird the way it works you have to multiply it by like a certain amount of people get it and then mm-hmm. you figure it out by it's and that and that's just today how everything has changed but right. none of this stuff has really like progressed and Mm-mm. in the real gauging of well everything. to be fair i mean one of the biggest things now is the whole cord cutting of cable oh yeah no one really uses it anymore no. and if they do or i should say nobody starts using it anybody right, right. who has it now has had it for a while yeah. more or less it's true because you can pretty much watch anything nowadays between between hulu netflix um amazon um there's a bunch of other ones like crackle it's true stuff like that yeah so there's some free ones <laughs> mm-hmm. um but i i thought raw was decent uh it, was, I actually, it wasn't bad there's I enjoyed moments. it out of, you know, besides the crap. And unfortunately, the crap is what takes up a majority of Raw. And yeah. I don't necessarily mean that it's bad TV. It's just I, they don't do a good job of investing in the lower to mid-level talent. So, you know? You know, Hell in a Cell is a pretty good example of that. Yeah. With the every... three matches on Raw. Right. All of which, or two of which were in the same storyline. Mm-hmm. And for Super Showdown, you have six of those people in one match as opposed to those six in two matches. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it, 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 that's that's really my biggest gripe with Raw. Um, I actually have a point I was going to bring up later um, with how, the difference between the two shows. Okay. Um, Raw kind of feels like it's built kind of like, um, like in sections. It's like, okay, this happens. Okay, cut, this happens. Cut, right. this happens. I, I guess, yeah. Um, like, And then it's just pasted together and that you get your show. Mm-hmm. Because so no- it feels like there's like a hard cut between everything. Yeah, the flow is definitely not there. On SmackDown last night, The Miz comes out, interrupts Truth TV, mm-hmm. and then he goes into the back crying like a little girl, runs into Paige, all in the same... Right, right. The only thing with that and that lasted it was probably about a half hour mm-hmm. b- between you know the thing and the match the only problem is if that's a boring segment it just wasted a quarter of the show true and, but I, and I that's don't... what raw had a big problem doing like you would get that opening segment where it'd be talking it would lead to a match and all of a sudden it'd be eight forty-five, and you're like it's only eight forty-five. felt like i just sat through two hours of yeah. garbage but SmackDown usually does a pretty good job. Yeah. And it flows from one part to another. They do a lot of stuff that leads into other things where right. I feel like it's all cohesive. Right. Well, like with Raw, they, you know, built it in the beginning, and then that's what we got for the main event. Yeah. So, they yeah. do that every single week, too. No, not every single Almost every single They week. They do now more so, but we, for a while, we were getting that one long segment yeah, in that's the beginning true. of yeah. Raw. So. But, um, I mean... The biggest thing coming out of Raw is uh, Liv Morgan getting a concussion from uh, Brie Bella. Yeah, that was rough. Yeah. Um, and then they, she took the suplex after that. Well, yeah. The 
I don't know. The, the biggest pretty dumb. problem I have with it is there was a legitimate injury. Mm-hmm. You stop the match. But, and, well, I mean. Well, he didn't need to stop the match. He needed ah. to stop being in the match. Well, that, and she was picked up by her neck and moved over to be thrown outside the ring. Well, that, that's why I said, and then she took the suplex. Right, right. Because um, she could have easily just been rolled out of the ring, tagged out, and true. then, you know, be done with. That would have been the smart thing to do. Right. But I feel like, I don't know, we've kind of gotten away from that. It, it's been purely entertainment. Like, that's how WWE is focused now. Mm-hmm. It's all entertainment. It's There's very little, I don't know, I guess, sport there. Oh, okay. Because you don't get those, you don't try this at home ads anymore Mm -hmm. things like that there's no disclaimers like there used to be right i mean when was the last time you really saw one yeah definitely not as much right but they're also not doing as much over the top stuff as they used to do yes you know what i mean i think nowadays it's common knowledge that this stuff is not like real so it's it's we just had people eating tide pods i didn't (laughs) say people were smart (laughs) but that's why you know yeah. You got to put a warning there. I guess that's true. But I, I think people know that this isn't legitimate people hurting each other. Yeah. So there's inherent risks in that. So I guess. it's a little easier to get away with. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong, but. I don't know. Either way. That, that was my. It's So you're saying that they're more. They, this is clearly just. It, it's not meant to appear like it's a legitimate. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Because Michael Cole just played it off like live went to the back and she's getting checked on Even like, it was, like it was a a planned spot you know how sometimes you get that where oh, i mean oh, oh. in this well, instance it, it was weird because the heel team was the one that was down usually it would be the face team yeah would lose a person all of a sudden it would be a handicap match or something like but that But at the same time you don't want michael cole acting weird no because that is his job is to be professional i guess so well, if if he was like like freaking out or whatever well, then i don't think you need to go to that well there's well because he played it off like it was well they can't they stopped the match when enzo got knocked out right from the bottom of the bottom rope well i think that was more i mean he was out out yeah i was gonna say i think that was more because he's more integral to the to the match I guess, itself. yeah well because... that's why they kept going on because natty was supposed to take the mm-hmm. the pin yeah so it didn't really matter because live for the most part most six women tag matches yeah it really doesn't matter who's in it it less of the finish and the finishes are so whatever yeah i guess that's true it's very rare that it matters who does what fair enough so with that match being already halfway over and live probably not really needing to take that big of a part of it Mm -hmm. like i don't for me i had no issue with them continuing gotcha minus the fact that she took the suplex that was yeah well, yeah, so that's true. But I mean, to be honest, shit happens. These are athletes in the ring. That's you, true. It's that, human error. Mm-hmm. There's, yeah, you can't really like like it was an honest mistake on yeah. Bree's part, but it's still it, she's been compiling those honest mistakes. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know, but um, it is what it is. Yeah. You know? No, I like the way they opened the show with the whole thought of Dean possibly turning raw and uh, turning raw, turning heel mm-hmm. because you know Roman and Seth both have championships. Yeah, Dean's so they're all sad. The question with this is: Is this like a tease? Yeah, it's not going to happen. No, no, no. I'm not not saying a uh, tease for. Well, actually, I guess tease wouldn't be the correct word. Is this like a swerve? I think so. Where Dean gets portrayed as the guy who's going to be the the outcast, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden Roman turns on the two of them because Seth did it already. Um, well, I mean, Dean's supposed to be the loose cannon, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I guess that fits him well if they're going to put him in that role. But there's, I mean, the whole Shield reunion was built to keep Roman getting those uh, face pops. Or... He was getting booed during the tag match. Yeah, well, I fell asleep during the tag match. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I I don't think they're gonna go anywhere with this. I I didn't think so either. No, it's but, just strange that but they it brought was, it up. It was good that you know, heels making good points. Mm-hmm. Dolph was making good points. Mm-hmm. Drew was making good points. Yeah, because throughout the night, Dolph. Well, what was it? Dolph goes to Dean to try to convince him, mm-hmm. and and then Seth goes to uh to Drew and does the same the other way. Right. 
So and then Dolph was like, "Well, what's what was that about?" No, don't worry about it. Yeah. So it kind of it kind of seemed like there was tension on both sides, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, they only presented Dean being the one who might right, switch. Right, right, yeah. Because it would have been it. so cool, and I I know it doesn't make any sense. But if they pulled an anti, um, ev- not uh, evolution, like uh, oh, no, 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 it wasn't evolution. That's what Triple oh, H. Oh, and yeah, with Orton, where where or, um, yeah. Seth attacked the shield from behind. You mm-hmm. could have had Drew do it. They're all sitting on chairs. It's true. So you could have that would have been cool. It wouldn't have made any sense. No, because it's not like there was five people on one side and three on the other, and then that would even it out. Well, so yeah, that's true. <laughs> but. Because the shield technically has mm-hmm. the advantage right. anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then Corbin made a match for later on, or the main event for the evening. It was going to be the shield versus himself and two mystery people. partners. Yeah, actually, he didn't make that match, though. Stephanie did. Oh, did she? Yeah. I missed the opening. Beginning? Yeah. Okay. So what happened was Triple H and Stephanie show up in a limo, mm-hmm. and then Corbin goes over and starts sucking up to them. Um, Stephanie tells him that he's doing a terrible job, and... Kurt Angle might have to come back from his vacation early. So we're going to get a match between the two of them, right? Uh, yeah. And she said specifically, if you don't do the right, or if, if I'm not happy with the outcome of this match, you, it, it won't end well for you, or something to mm-hmm. that effect. So that was going to be another question I asked er, later. Since they lost that match, does this mean that... What, what does this mean for Corbin? Probably nothing, right? He's going to go back to being a waiter. No, no, no. I'm not saying for the Corbin character. I mean, like, yeah. directly right now. Probably nothing. Yeah. It's just an empty threat. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. That that would be um, what I guess. It was revealed that it was going to be AOP, because yeah. they are no longer the Authors of Pain. Nope. So why didn't they just have the Authors of Pain as, like, Corbin's hired security guards or some bullshit like that, um, rather than bring in Drake? The truth would probably be who's on smackdown the truth no no No, the truth of the matter is they wanted to do something with drake maverick Mm -hmm. but they thought about it they went okay that's not gonna work let's do this i guess that's probably what happened i guess it was the right move those were the two guys they should i guess so i don't know No, i mean for the six-man tick i know i i i don't I don't really think that they're there. Oh, I'm not fans. Yeah, I didn't see it. But, but I mean, it, it was the only. T- uh, it was the only people that made sense to yes, put them in that. Yes, it situation. was the most logical That's, choice. Yes, and we don't get logic most of the time. Yeah. So you know, it could have been the ascension. That'd be pretty funny. The ascension. Yeah. Connor beat uh, <laughs> Chad Gable. I think it was Connor, right? <laughs> it was. It was amazing. That's like fr- how? Fantastic. How? How did they do that? Why? So. <laughs> So is this going to turn into a string of Chad Gable losses and he's the one that turns on Bobby Roode and we keep face smiling Bobby Roode? That would be terrible. I know. But it's been Gable wrestling every week. Yeah, yeah so Roode hasn't done anything. No. Um, so, or, mm. or maybe the Ascension are going to have a tag team title run soon. Obviously, that's not where this is going, but... <laughs> Uh, it, beat it, the clock challenge you and your beat the clock challenge <laughs> Do, to be fair no that wasn't it was the gauntlet match that they thought we thought that they had a chance with that's right i mean to be yeah rhino and heath slater were the tag champions yeah. anybody was, could take those titles yeah. off of them um we had see. a very good tag team title match it was the best of the revival oh looked. yeah they um, actually looked like they had a chance and apparently vince was very pleased with the match that's what it was good yeah yeah for our, especially a tag team match on tv generally they save a really good tag team match for the pay-per-view yeah but this was uh very good mm-hmm. revival looked good they actually like you said i thought they had a chance of winning it mm-hmm. because Cause... there's no reason or need for drew and Dolph. no to- hold the nope, titles nope. I, I think that Unless the it reason ends up becoming a thing that splits them apart i was gonna say the reason why they have them right now i think is to fuel the feud that mm-hmm. they have going on with the shield right because they're probably going to do something well obviously they already did something by having that match at hell in a cell mm. but i feel like they're going to continue to use that as a prop i guess it's not necessary obviously but i think that's what they want to do yeah. um but uh but yeah, the good crowd reaction from the revival. Yeah, there was actually a point in time when Drew was out of the match 
it was just uh, Ziggler and the two of them. So right. I'm like, wow, they might. Yeah. That's that's when I thought. That when they hit the move off the top rope. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Dolph kicked out, mm-hmm. and then then Drew got back up. So I'm like, eh. yeah. But still, you yeah. know, no, it, they the, were booked well. When you when you think there's a chance that the underdog is gonna win, it's always a much better. But match. it's good to see that the crowd was getting that involved in a team where they haven't done anything mm-hmm. to promote them. Yeah. So that means that there is potential there, and that could have been you know what they were thinking for. That's you true. Know? Yeah, um, definitely true. But yeah, oh the Elias and Kevin Owen or Elias on the Kevin Owen show, right? He was the guest, I guess, even well, though he announced. Yeah, so he he does his thing, and then the lights come up, and then Kevin Owens is sitting behind him. It was like a late the late night show, or a late night talk show. Yeah, it was good. Then Leo Rush comes out. Uh, Elias asks if uh, anyone is missing a kid. Did he ask it again? Yeah, I think something uh, like that. Uh. Um, it's so it's so funny because it's true. Leo Rush is a little guy. He's got like a very high pitched voice. Oh my god! Um, I don't. I think it was a, a WWE dot com exclusive or a YouTube thing or whatever. But they had Noam Dar um, doing an impression of Leo Rush from last week because I guess he pushed back his match with him until two tonight, uh-huh. and it was just hilarious his impression of him because he got the voice and everything down perfectly. Just it was just good stuff. Um, but yeah, no, they're they're utilizing. Uh, leo rush very well yeah well uh, he's got a lot of charisma so obviously having him you know <laughs> be the voice of a chariz- charismaless vacuum the vacuum yeah it's not a terrible idea oh man but i mean i guess this is gonna help build bobby lashley up right i mean um i think if well obviously they're gonna keep them together for at least a little while yeah and you know it works i like the idea yeah no it's definitely good um leo definitely fits that role well and then he gets to wrestle on 205 live so is he actually still yeah oh okay i didn't know for sure because mm-hmm. i haven't watched 205 live yeah because i mean drake's still on there as well well but, yeah I mean, but that, role is that makes a little more sense smaller on yeah bra it's true um but that i mean that was really it as far as it might be this raw goes no yeah, that isn't it. surprised okay yeah you have to watch it after yes but i mean yeah like you said, that Baron Corbin took the pin mm-hmm. in the uh, six-man tag. Yeah, Dean pinned event. them, right? Or did Roman? Uh, no, no, Baron Corbin didn't take the pin. I think it was one of the authors. No, 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 it was Baron Corbin. It was Baron? Mm-hmm. Okay, and Roman pinned him. Yes, it was Roman. <laughs> I yeah. think it was. I don't know. Well, like I said, I Because what fellas, happened I mean, was they were, they were like, kind of making it seem like Dean was not... Uh, appreciated enough mm-hmm. and um and then at one point dean was carrying the whole match roman and seth were both out for a good portion um and it was dean fighting off uh, the three of them right and then finally roman and seth wake up from their naps um and then <clears throat> dean obviously can take a step back and that leads to roman getting the pin on i guess on corbin mm-hmm. um <clears throat> during the whole match though we had um bar uh, baron Braun, Ziggler, and uh, McIntyre sitting at the top of the ramp watching oh, the right. match. Oh, right, yes, yes. Um, and they were just sitting there the whole time, mm-hmm. stone face and everything. Oh, yeah, because they, you know, they told Dean if he was, you know, if give he, him the, the give sign. Him the signal. Yeah, the signal. Um, and so they just sat there the whole time. And then at the uh, the end of the match, I think Braun goes, Dean, you're going to side with us, right? And then Dean sure. leaves the ring, and he's like back and forth or mm-hmm. whatever. And he ends up going back with the shield, which obviously, like we said, we kind of figured. Yeah, yeah. Um, Especially with the whole six man tag set for the showdown and things like that. Yeah, well, that's a pretty good, pretty good giveaway. Well, yeah, but Although, I mean, it just seems like that would be a good place for him to turn if he's going to, though. True. So you never know. It's true. Uh, also, to mention before we move on, uh, General Hall versus Finn Balor. Oh yeah, that it was did just happen. a mixed match challenge preview. Yeah, where you had uh, Bailey hit Jinder with a belly to belly no, to... she hit. Oh, the, was, okay, yeah, sing, one of the Singh brothers. Yeah, Sunil with the belly to belly. Um, and then Jinder beat him up a little bit after the match. Yes, and that was about it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he missed during the because uh, he said he didn't watch the mixed match challenge. Yeah. Um, Bobby and Jinder were kind of having a little contest back and forth. Well, they were like doing, doing push-ups, push-ups, right? Yeah, and uh. Mickey James got on to 
Lashley's back, and or Fox got onto Jinder's back, whatever. She, they were doing push-ups with both of them on, and then the Singh brother got on top of Alicia on his back, and Jinder just fell flat down. It, it was just a good moment. That's good. Yeah. Uh, it's good to see that they're trying to be a little more creative with all mm-hmm. that stuff. Yeah. That's cool. But All right. That, yeah, I mean, that that was really raw in a nutshell. Yeah. It, it's so, oh, funny it, because it's so long, but it's so thin. Yeah. Do you, if... Uh, Liv is unable to go for the showdown. What do you think they're going to do? Just have a regular tag match? No. no. Just find a random partner for her? Alicia Fox? Uh, maybe. That would be. A, that would make sense. Is L- Bliss, oh, Bliss, is, Bliss hurt. is hurt. Sasha's hurt. Yeah, Mickey won't be in it. Mm-mm. I would say maybe they'll have... Because it's not even like it's on... Like Because if it was like one of the Bellas being hurt, you just do a handicap right. match, and it makes sense. Because I think this is where they're going to set up the whole Ronda and yes. Nikki Bella thing. Mm-hmm. So maybe That's they'll the do Nikki, Nikki and Ronda versus uh, Logan. And, I guess that makes sense. And, and you're taking the dangerous one out of the match anyway. So, Or the more dangerous one. I guess. Well, Ronda hasn't hurt anybody as far as we know. I don't think her, she is directly is involved. Now. So... So, yeah, that's possible. I don't know. Or yep. Liv is fine, and she just got a little shaken up. That's well, possible. Yeah, because we are only, yeah, what, cause I 48 remember, hours removed. Um, when we went to Raw. Oh, when, when Jinder. Finn, yeah, he okay. knocked Finn out and gave him a concussion, apparently, and then he hit him with, like, a kick I don't or think something. He, I don't think he got he, a concussion. He didn't. It was just he concussion-like just, symptoms yeah. or whatever they yeah. call it. Yeah. So they sent him loopy, but he didn't actually... I got gotcha. you. Yeah, because he was back like the next. Or no? Yeah, that's why. Like, that's why I was confused when mm-hmm. it happened because we right. saw it happen. Yeah, but it ended up being nothing. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's move on to SmackDown. Yeah, you watched the YouTube version of SmackDown. More AKA or less, yes. Watched all the clips. Well, which and you know is good because you know all the good stuff they showed. It's true. Pretty much, they just cut out like parts of the matches that really nothing happened. Well, um, I mean, the matches are generally never really anything big yeah well the storytelling is not done in no there. no um the show opened with truth tv yes a segment that needs to be on every wwe <laughs> show not just smackdown it needs to be on all of them all right um he had his <laughs> how co-host. do we uh, give wwe good ratings in 2018 we make truth tv the, uh, focal point which yep. we don't even know the viewership for smackdown but again we talked about it, it doesn't really matter yeah um, and then he had his co-host Carmella, mm-hmm. who is now a brunette, apparently. Yes. So, or uh, it's like I don't know, she had red. So I was actually gonna say, they did um, a promo mm-hmm. on Raw where you could see that she had different colored hair. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, that looks good. And then on SmackDown, like under all the lights in the ring, I'm like, it doesn't look as good as it did in the. I didn't think it looked bad. It, it doesn't look bad, but it looked it looked a lot nicer with like the browner color. Sure, I know it's irrelevant, but it just is. Um, so, the reason we had Truth TV is because had the Miz been carrying a title and our Truth pinned him a couple two weeks ago, last week was uh-huh. it last week. Uh, it was a couple of weeks ago that they had their match. Yes, because our Truth said if I had pinned you. I would have won, and you had a title. I would have won your title. But since you don't, and you have a TV show, it's my TV show. You now. said that. Yes. Oh man, it didn't show that. <laughs> yes. It the the clip just opened with him and I sitting think that's down. when they had a little banter back and forth, and Miz said, "This, you know, this is bullshit. I'm going to the back." And that's when, or it, oh no, and then Miz said, "You can't just take my TV show." And that's when Truth said, "All right, fight me for it." Yeah. And then that's when he went backstage, uh-huh. and Paige made the match. Like, go fight yep. for it. And then, for some reason, Daniel Bryan came out on Well, commentary. he was the guest. Oh, yeah, that's right. Truth okay, yes. yes. He was the guest on Truth TV. Yes. Uh, R-Truth made a joke about thank- thanking Carmella for changing her hair color because now people won't get confused. <laughs> because he said that um, the other Carmella tried to help the Miz win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, that was Maurice. <laughs> that's so good. Good stuff. So um, good. Uh, another good thing was that uh, when Daniel Bryan was on commentary, he kept calling Corey Graves out on his shit because he picks the Miz over. Yeah. It was just funny. It's like, I hear you call these the it kicks. He's <laughs> like, you see the difference between, you know, mine and the Miz's is, is that I get, you know, I twist my leg around or something. And I was like, yeah, we saw Bree do that the night before. We know where she learned it from. Yep. 
Uh, She's got man. plenty of uh, force oh, behind yeah. those kicks. That was rough. Yeah. That was rough. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have notes to look at because... No, uh, it's true. Um, yeah, so we're basically going to go... Off much, memory. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we had Sheamus versus Big E, mm-hmm. which they had a little Twitter thing going on the week before. I, I'm I, sure. I, I don't know if it was real, if it was just... I was going to say, both teams are more than capable of right. understanding but I, how... But Big E said something about um, when he was down, I think it was FCW and Sheamus was... Or when he was younger and Sheamus was much older, which is how he put it. Yeah. He said he used to Sheamus used to come down to FCW and everybody and make everybody tell him how great he is and stuff like that. So yeah. Biggie basically called him a bully, and then all of a sudden the match got made. But I think it was just the way to promote the match. Probably. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Which though. was funny because it got people talking. Yeah. And little things like that. Mm-hmm. And Sheamus won this match, correct? Mm-hmm. Um, yes. And then we had. Rus- well, that's speaking of wow. the Twitter thing. Um, that was, I think, why we had the Ty Dillinger and Nakamura match, because I guess there was something between the two of them, mm-hmm. and that's why Ty asked for the match. Oh, okay. I guess which, that kind of makes sense. Uh-huh. Which turned uh, into another beating at yes. the hands of Randy Orton, mm-hmm. which you had called last week. I did. Um, it's because there's not that many options. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, so Orton interrupts the match, um, beats crap out of Dillinger, mm-hmm. and then Nakamura hits him with a Kinshasa on the outside. Mm-hmm. And, Which uh, it looked like he his head he did hit the. Oh uh, yeah, he yeah. most certainly bumped, yeah. bumped off the side of the ring. Yeah. Um, so that, at first I was like, oh, it was probably his back. And nope. I was like, oh, it was his head. It in his head. Um, so and then Orton gets interviewed and asking why Ty Dillinger is his next target, mm-hmm. and Orton's like, he's not just my next target. I just that perfect ten thing pisses me off, mm-hmm. and that was it. All right. So here we go. So do you think that? Remember how you had your whole theory about The Miz winning against Daniel Bryan at Super Showdown Mm -hmm. and then taking the title from AJ Mm -hmm. and so on and so forth? What if we have, what if Joe ends up winning the title Mm -hmm. and Daniel Bryan ends up winning and then Orton picks AJ as his next victim? That would make sense too. I'd be okay with that. The only thing is, you don't have something for Miz, but the Miz can keep doing whatever. Well, no, the Miz will just keep on. He'll probably get put into the title feud. Yeah, I guess that's that'd possible. be my guess. Yeah, because what what'll happen is if Daniel Bryan does win, the Miz will come up with like a bunch of excuses mm-hmm. why he lost, and then he'll like beg Paige. Like Paige will be like resistant mm-hmm. to it, but he'll find ways to get himself into. He always does. Yeah. So that would be my guess. Mm-hmm. If if I think no matter what, in a few months the Miz will be involved in the title oh, yeah. picture, probably. Um, and the funny thing is, going back like a year or two, I'm like, I really hope that he, you know, moves up. Yeah, he did great things with the IC title, but mm-hmm. like he definitely deserves a bigger. That was that was it. He, yeah. he was like that was his the glass ceiling for yeah. him, so to speak. Well, but I mean, like moving into like the end of last year mm-hmm. and everything. Where you felt like, okay, he really does need to elevate. Right. right? You need to elevate. Yeah, and then he went, bit. well, he was in a feud with Roman for the IC title. Yeah. So, I mean. But that's that's when, like, obviously that was the title on Raw. That was the big that's true, feud. Yeah. So, clearly, obviously, he's capable of doing it. Oh, so yeah, it was no, only absolutely. a matter of time. Definitely a draw and so. things like that. So, yeah. Um, uh, should, we, should we speak of the WWE title picture right now? Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it in a minute. I don't okay. know. I was going to say something, but... Mine just goes blank. Okay, that's good. Um, all right, now you know what we can talk about, Rusev. Yeah, okay. So Lana. Rusev and Lana come out to the ring and demand an explanation from Aiden English why he betrayed him on the most glorious of days, Rusev Day. Yes. And Aiden English comes out and he says it's all Lana's fault. It was her. And he, and he's told him to ask her about Milwaukee. Yes. All right. So apparently, uh-huh. do you remember way back when? This is what's been going on on the interwebs. Uh-huh. Well, they probably just found a time when SmackDown was in Milwaukee and they no. came up. Do you remember that segment with The Rock, Lana, and Rusev? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what they're... I think that's... Well, that's what people are alluding to. It makes I mean, sense. It's something about it was the like Wisconsin wheel. A, a year and a half ago. <laughs> yeah. I know. That I mean, was w- really funny, though. Yeah. It was terribly inappropriate. It was, but yeah, it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. It was an odd segment. Because it was I, like last January. Yeah. That's crazy. 
Come that's that's where people seem to be going with that it, but... makes a lot of sense mm-hmm. so yeah okay we'll see yeah and there's been rumors that the rock might come back there has been that. to smackdown not to oh, Raw. really that and you have the thousandth episode coming up yeah so there's a very good chance that we could, could see the rock right. and not rusev like fight but like have him come back yeah. to interrupt right because i Something think we're like, like three episodes away yeah i think they said 997 last yeah. night yeah so and I, I already knew it was going to be mid October when right. when it was I just didn't know exactly when. Yeah. So do you think whoever I know this is moving back to what we were talking about before, but whoever wins that number one contenders match will I guess get a title their match title on the thousandth episode. Would make sense. Would make sense. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of figuring. Yeah, it is like you said. It's we the could, only thing that makes sense. We could even see a Becky Lynch versus Charlotte match then too. Mm. It'll it'll end in a no contest, but we could see. You know what they should have done for Evolution? What? They should have done. They should have kept the Becky and Sa- uh, Bailey and Sasha thing going. We could have had a four fatal four way four horsewomen match. Sasha, I mean, Grant, Sasha's hurt. I, so. Well, now, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> but I'm saying that I think that would have been well, really cool. Well, I, I, th- granted, I'm firmly in the opinion that they had all the plans to make something like that. Yeah. Where Bailey and Sasha are friends, and then they won't be. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. That's, they could just flip the light switch on. Yeah. It and... So, because I think the fact that Sasha got hurt is the only reason why that's not happening mm-hmm. already. Because yeah. she hasn't, has she wrestled in a while. It's. Uh, I'm sure she was in a couple. They had matches a tag match there. or something. Yeah. yeah, probably against the Riot Squad. Yeah. So. But uh. Which, yeah. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. What else? I guess we can talk about it now. Oh, the the crazy nonsense. Yeah, because I don't, I can't think of many other things that happen besides that women's tag team match with Oscar and Naomi versus uh, Sonya Deville and yes, that Andy was Rose. crap. And then we had Becky Lynch versus Lana. Yes, and obviously Becky won, which is funny. I, I was just, I, I just like the way that Becky has uh, just kind of gone into business for herself almost. So. A lot of people have been hearing mm-hmm. that they're drawing parallels between her and an Attitude Era Stone Cold Steve Austin. It was, I think, Jim Ross that actually made and the analysis. They're portraying it pretty well because yeah, she's showing up out of nowhere, mm-hmm. getting involved in things that are none of her business, like with and, Lana. Yeah. and then just beating up right. everybody. Yeah. So it's not a direct correlation, but there but are definitely parallels. There. Yeah, absolutely. If, if anything, she might be more aggressive than he was. See, what I really wish that Becky had done, I, she s- commented on it about, uh, I guess, on Twitter after she attacked Charlotte because Charlotte was doing some photo shoot or whatever. Yes. And uh, Becky said, that's for making me do the stupid tea time thing. I wish she did it a- said that after she hit her down because that would be aw- something like Austin would have said. Like, this is the reason for this and yeah. this is the reason for that mm. because they've been friends for so long. So there's plenty of uh, yeah. stuff that are stuff there to use exactly so but yeah uh, no I, I there's definitely parallel and it made it made sense to have the lana match with her just for becky to prove you know yeah and i'm it, the sma- i'm the woman's champion exactly show I, her dominance yes exactly so uh so yeah now moving on to wwe championship picture yeah so i guess they're supposed to have a contract signing yep so aj's in the ring with Paige, and they're ready to sign I, the contract i was really hoping this is where it was going to oh how it went okay and then uh, they call down Joe, and Joe doesn't show up. And Paige is like, oh, I thought he was supposed to be here. And then Joe shows up on the screen playing with his phone or holding his phone. Um, and apparently he's outside of AJ's house. Mm-hmm. Um, no gun in hand. No gun in hand. <laughs> Not yet. Yes. So, uh, and then he, like, talks a lot. And oh, he says, talks a lot. Yeah. And then he says something about... Uh, He's going to go in and say hi. He's like, do I just go in or do I ring the doorbell? So I rang the doorbell and that's when it like mm-hmm. stopped. Yeah. I think it would have been awesome if they just, if he opened the door and they had like Smackdown on the TV in the house. <gasps> He's here. <laughs> yeah, that was a little, a little much. All right. So it's very unsettling. It is, but that's the point. It's meant to be. I think it's a little too far. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like I, I like Brian Pillman's like got a gun better than this because at least that was cartoonish. <laughs> I, I mean, I get well, yeah, the ridiculous fight yeah. scene that uh-huh. took place yeah. prior. 
Uh, well, I mean, you look back at it now and you think about it, but in the time it was, it I guess. probably People didn't were seem... a lot dumber back then. What? <laughs> I don't know. It's true. Know that's true. I don't know if that's entirely true. It's pretty true. All right, well, fair enough. People were, in terms of what you're watching on TV. Okay, yeah. People believed more of what yes. they saw back then. Yes. yes. Okay, I'll, yeah, that's fair. Um, damn internet. Yeah. So. Joe's empty threats have to eventually... You're wrong. You, you think he's just going to continue yes. and that's just going to be what he's known for? Yes. Empty threats. Yes. <laughs> Want to know why? Because he is a TNA guy. AJ Styles is the anomaly. I guess. It is. It's true. 100%. Okay. All right. I, mean, I guess so. I have no idea. <laughs> it's just they've they've shown, obviously, that they think that Samoa Joe can seem like a threat... But every time he's put in a position to do anything, it just fizzles out. Yeah. So like... my my saying this is more of like I guess that's what they think because obviously they're not pulling the it, trigger. Yeah, it on doesn't anything. make any sense because you know it, it just everything has just been so nothing with him. They fed him to Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Not even a not even a like a because the build was nice, but that was because Lesnar wasn't involved. And, and, yeah, it was because Joe yeah. was taking advantage of Heyman. Um, in the trip in the in the Fatal Four Way match at SummerSlam last year, like he was the one who knew we knew wasn't going to win. Right. So it, it's just he obviously has the ferocity and mm-hmm. the, and everything. And they just he gets a good react. You know, it, it, it it's just know. weird. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Um, but, but I think if they're going to pull the trigger now, would be the time to do it. Well, because it's going to be leading into something different. Yeah. I, I think that if he does okay. win the title, he'll be strictly right. a transitional champion. and Probably. And, for Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I mean, AJ is probably my favorite wrestler, second all time. But his few, his few, last few feuds haven't even done much for me, to be honest. Um, Nakamura is bad. Um, what, do you, what do you have, Jinder before that? No, nah, couldn't have been. My guess, if you technically say his feud was from, because he was just oh, he yeah, was in no, that whole were... Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn nonsense, and that happened at Fastlane, and that was right. more of a just a, let's get to WrestleMania match, right? And then Shinsuke won the Rumble before that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember if was he De- was just December SmackDown pay per view. Yeah, and that's is that when Jinder got his rematch? Yes, and then but AJ faced Lesnar face? at Survivor Series. Who did he face at the Rumble? AJ. Yeah. The Kevin Owens, it was that handicap match. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was that wasn't that bad. It was a stupid premise. No, but, it but, wasn't but bad. that's what I mean. It was just stupid because yeah. we because well, oh no, that wasn't the they get fired. That was at WrestleMania, right? Uh, Against Shane and Daniel Bryan, right? No. Because it was before the mix. Match. No, they showed up at the Superstar uh, Shakeup. Oh yeah, and they went to yeah. Raw. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I don't know. And then before that, like I said, he wrestled Lesnar at Survivor Series, mm-hmm. and then he won the title off Jinder in uh, Australia, not Australia, yeah, the UK. And, the, and it was on a SmackDown. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's right. It, it's been nice, but it hasn't been eventful. Right, right. So, because he's been putting on pretty good matches, it's just the storylines haven't been I great. mean, I think part of the reason that WWE has kept the title on him for so long as I think they want this to stand out from his career because he's done so many great things in so many places mm. that they want this to be the spotlight. Be like, that's oh, fair. he broke CM Punk's record or something like that, mm. if that's where they're going. Well, they could very easily just have him the longest reigning WWE champion because mm-hmm. he's getting close, and then they could have him eclipse Brock Lesnar. Right. I don't know if they will. Yeah, there's, I, there's I, a lot. That's, that's why it's interesting to see where they go coming yeah. up with the whole WWE title feud. Because I don't know how, what you're going to do with Styles in, at WrestleMania next year if he's still the champion. Yeah. Because who are you going to have win the Rumble against Orton them? again? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no. So. I, I, I mean, believe... it, still, it still makes sense for Daniel Bryan and The Miz to have that big match. Yeah. But I'd believe Orton faces... Uh, styles next yeah that's believable but i don't i don't think that i don't think i think that'll be with him having the title and not at wrestlemania so yep um so that was uh 
that was this week in WWE, pretty much, right? Yep. Not I much think else we, to talk about? Yeah, I think we got everything. We have, what, the Super Showdown next, next Saturday? Saturday? And then, I guess we're on the road to Evolution. Sure. <laughs> uh, so basically, that will take the back seat to Crown Jewel. Maybe. That's definitely possible. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. It's weird to have a pay-per-view in the first week of the month, mm-hmm. and then the next pay-per-view not till the end of November. I mean, Crown Jewel will be... Well, it's going to be Crown Jewel, and then three weeks later it'll Survivor. be yeah, Survivor but I mean, Series. Is Crown Jewel going to be really... It's a house show. Then, yeah, exactly. So, whatever. Doesn't matter. Yeah, fair enough. So, But yeah, that was... Uh, That was it. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.